Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing a sort it's called I'm calling it an unboxing, but it's really more of an unbagging of my micro FPV quad. Um so a micro size, say like a Hubs and X4, that that's a popular one, a general size of that JJ1000, um, but with custom parts and adding FPV to it, since it's winter here, I want to do a small build to fly indoors and also hopefully do some FPV indoors. Um, so I got a couple different parts here, um, partially sponsored by uh, Micromoto Warehouse. He sent me, um, Benedict sent me motors and a frame, which is awesome. And I got um, that one's from Micromoto Warehouse. These two are from eBay and this one's from Banggood. Um, and they're open because I had to open them to uh, realize what they were, but I haven't opened the actual bag. So let's start off here with my Micro FPV cam. Let's see, I got a whole combo from Banggood. It was, uh, I believe, $40 from their US warehouse got here in about a week um, we have this little board here um, that has different cutouts of cardboard it's a mount um, that lets you screw it down it goes around the camera and allows you to angle it which is really nice it has a little screw there and this gram or this camera weighs like three grams I think um, let's see then here we have the little camera and video transmitter all in one as you can see here it looks pretty awesome we have four dip switches there so four dip switches and we have our 5.8 gigahertz antenna along with a power cable there so give me one second okay here we are and um, as you can see I have a scale here I'm not, I got this in today same with these parts so let me get this things covered in fingerprints so let me turn it on here and I'll just weigh um, some of these things here so we're in grams, so this little thing, including the bag, it's not going to make too much of a difference. Um, is about 1.4 grams. The camera, this whole thing here, is about 4 grams for that. So let's move on to this one. I forget. Ah, okay. This is my flake controller that I chose. It is the Blade Nano QX FPV flake controller. Um, and by the way, that camera is $40 from the U.S. on Banggood. And this... Um, flight controller here. I got it for 27 on eBay from the U.S., so that's really nice. Horizon Hobby, who actually makes it, was trying to sell it for 40 on their site. <laughs> Always check eBay. Um, so here we have a little piece of foam here, a little double-sided sticky foam, along with the actual control board here. As you can see, it's pretty cool. I think this little red wire running along here is the 2.4 gigahertz antenna, and you have your four motor plug-ins there so everything should be plug and play I shouldn't have to do any soldering but I might be changing these plugs uh, and then I you have these little I think they're 1.25 millimeter micro JST plugs I'm probably gonna cut those off and maybe add micro Lozy. I'm not sure but um, let's see what this is and it says it is 2.60 grams so really light there um, so let's get into the next bag here which is this uh, right here, I got my, whoops, dropped them. <laughs> I got propellers, and now these are the Hubs and X4 propellers, um, but they are clear, so as you can see. Now, you may be wondering why I got X4 propellers when I'm, I really hate X, Hubs and X4 propellers because they're so brittle and they chip so easily, and they're bad props in my opinion. Um, but Benedict told me that these clear propellers were really nice. They were completely different than the stock ones in terms of strength. Um, so I thought I'd give these a try. I think it was like 7 bucks for 5 sets here on eBay as well. So that's not bad. And if not, I can use some other micro props I have. Um, but let's get the last one open. This one I have not opened, but I knew for sure it was micro motor stuff because it says it on the package. Okay, we have our frame. And there we have our motors. And the order number that he did for me. Okay, so here we have our motors, and he actually sent me two sets, which is really awesome in case um, they break, burn out, or uh, a can gets blown out. But you can see they are direct drive, and they are 8.5 millimeter um, motors, so they'll fit 8.5 millimeter frames. And they have that same plug I was talking about there. So he sent me two sets, and I will take um, them out real quick. Just, I will weigh one of them. Real quick, I'll weigh one. Let me, I gotta tear that. Okay, let's weigh one. And that is 5.17 grams. And let's weigh all of them. And that is 20.52 grams. 
So not the lightest motors, but they should give tons of power. And now I believe these are the fast speed, um, not the insane or the medium. Um, they're not dark edition motors, I'm pretty sure. Since I wanted to be able to do some indoor flying as well, I believe I got I had asked him to send the fast version. So let's stick those in there. And he sent me a business card from Micromoto Warehouse. I really like these. They're just nice and professional. And then here we have the frame. Um, and now he actually, um, I went for the Carbon Micro H frame. So I believe it's 135 millimeters um, diagonally. So 135 millimeter frame. And it is carbon. And I believe it retails, he sells it on the site for about $40. Um, so here we have a couple uh, screws. And I believe those are standoffs for in between the plates. And here we have a ton of little screws as well as washers. And I believe these ones are plastic. And then we have the some more screws and uh, motor feet and mounts. I don't think, uh, I can't tell if they are 3D printed or not, um, but I'm definitely going to have to figure out um, this frame. There's lots of, uh, let's see, there's lots of parts and screws to it. So let's get this off. And here we have the main frame. Let's see, is there a glossy? Nope, both sides are the same. Not There's not a glossy and a rough, but the uh, carbon on this looks really nice. Um, pretty thin. It has a few scratches on it. Um, not scratches like in the carbon, but just um, external layers. It is very thin. I think that's probably about one millimeter carbon, but um, for a frame like this, you're not going to need any um, thicker than that, really. And it is solid carbon. There's, It's not a polycarbonate glass fill, so it's really nice. Um, it looks nice with all these mounting options, and it should be, like I said, all plug and play. With the flight controller in the middle, I can definitely fit my motors to it. And then here we have the top plate, which I'm pretty sure this cutout up here, that cutout right there, um, this little hole, is for your FPV cam to be able to poke through. Not really sure because I haven't seen too much on this um, this frame, but it'll probably sit uh, about that high off of it. But um, like I said, the carbon on it looks pretty nice. Uh, it's not that it's not um, super glossy, but it's definitely not rough finish. So it's it's pretty nice and polished, as you can see there. Um, it has these two rubber bands, but just to hold them together. And the frame, the frame weight, um, the top and bottom pieces, that is 7.86 grams. So really light frame. And I'm just gonna add a couple things on, just even with the bags, because um, I'm just gonna add everything on here, all the parts, to see what the total weight approximately would be. It's not going to be true. Um, I'm just going to get the pro propellers out because there's so many on there. Um, the total weight here is 48.49 grams, so probably 5 grams or so taking off for the bags. And then, um, so it's very light, and you probably won't... Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> um... I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, but um, that looks pretty sweet. I'll leave links down to everything down below. The frame, the motors, the camera, the board, and the props. So, um, there we go. That was my unboxing of my new micro quad build. That's, and I am going to be doing a build video as well as um, a maiden flight and a review. And if you're wondering about this um, board, since it's on the DSM-2 or DSM-X Spectrum protocol, since it's a uh, Horizon Hobby product, um, I'm going to be flying it with either my 9XR or Pro or my Tyrannus X90 Plus. Uh, my Tyrannus isn't here as of now, um, but I have a Hobby King Orange RX mo uh, DSMX or DSM2 module coming in that should allow me to fly with this. And for battery, I'm probably just going to use one of the T-Mart um, blue, their blue LiPos, their 500 milliamp hour 25C um, one cell. So I'm probably going to try and use that. I have a bunch of batteries, micro batteries I can try out. But I'm feeling these motors are going to give a lot of thrust on this. Um, so there we go. I'll leave links, like I said, down below. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.